Hello, and this demonstration is about what is fluid. Now we don't uh, normally think about gases being fluid, but of course we know that air blows and everything, so uh, gases do act like liquids do, they flow. And to demonstrate this, I've got some sodium bicarbonate, acetic acid, which is vinegar, uh, a candle, a lighter, and a cup of glassware. Now what I'm going to do first is take some of this bicarb into this flask. That's not to be enough. Now to this sodium bicarbonate I'm going to add some acetic acid. Now this reaction is very well known. When we add acetic acid to sodium bicarbonate, it releases some carbon dioxide and water. So if I add this, you will see some bubbling. That was probably a bit too much. But that's all right. So you can see this flask is now probably full of carbon dioxide. Now the carbon, carbon dioxide gas is heavier than air. Carbon dioxide's molecular weight is 44 and air's average molecular weight is about 28. Therefore, carbon dioxide should sink to the bottom of the flask and uh, air should have been pushed out. So what I'm going to do next is light this candle and place it in this speaker. Okay. Now you remember this flask should contain some carbon dioxide. Now what I'm going to do is slowly pour this carbon dioxide into the flask and hopefully you will see this, this flame go out. There it is. So just by tipping carbon dioxide into the flask, I managed to pour some of the carbon dioxide into this beaker. Just to show that there is still carbon dioxide in that beaker, I'm going to latch, match this paper, let it go, and then I'm going to drop this, and you can see it goes out immediately.